What's up? This is Ben Covet from Elevated Trips, elevatedtrips.com. Today we're in Manusa at 3,200 meters. We're going to be discovering this monastery here. This is Sirti Monastery, which was built in 1748. There's about 300 monks in it, so we're going to go inside the monastery here and uh, fly the drone a little bit. It should be fun. So this is Lang Musa. Lang Musa is a town that sits right on the Sichuan-Gansu border in western China. Both are about 12 hours from Chengdu, about 12 hour drive also from Xining. So it's right in between that Gansu-Sichuan area. And you can see this is Sirti Monastery, which is built in 1748. This monastery has about 350 monks and I really love just to walk through the monastery and see the monastic life. Really worth two or three hours of your time. Okay, we're at the start of the hike here. Just walked uh, through the Kirti Monastery, a couple hundred meters, and this is where the hike starts in these prayer flags. You can see behind me is this statue of a tiger, and the original name of Taksong Lamo actually translates to 
den of tigers. That's the Tibetan name for Langusa. And apparently, historically, there used to be tigers here. I've never seen any. I think they've all, in modern times, uh, vanished, probably with the increase of human civilization around Langusa. But there used to be tigers here. And as we go into this beautiful gorge, you're gonna see these steep, stiff cliffs. And I can imagine it would have been a great place for a tiger to have lived, secretly prowling around the mountains, preying on the blue sheep and the other animals. So you can see this is Lang Musa Kirti Monastery. Kirti Monastery is actually in Sichuan province and is an older and bigger monastery of the two monasteries that span the Gansu Sichuan border. This monastery was originally built in 1413 as a monastery hermitage for meditation and then was later converted into a larger monastery in 1748. You can see the hike here starts at the Lang Musa White Dragon River. You're going to follow the White Dragon River up to its source and then head up to the high grasslands. This hike can be one or two hours if you want to go out and back for a few hours, but you could actually get as high as 4,000 meters if you wanted to do a full day hike for eight or nine hours. about 30 minutes into the hike here. So the first 30 minutes just kind of winds along the White Dragon River. Expect to get your feet wet. Then it kind of breaks into this more grassland pasture. Okay, we got up to about 3,600 meters on the hike. Looks like it's about to rain, so we're gonna head back here. Getting a little chilly, windy. Definitely a storm is coming in. So, yeah, going back down the gorge through the White Dragon River, and uh, it's beautiful. Fall is just awesome. It's September 15th here, and the leaves are just starting to get a little red and yellow. You can see some of the colors behind me, and uh, just one of my favorite times to hike here. September and October are so beautiful. 